Good morning. I'm Larry Kirkpatrick. I serve the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. I'm the pastor of those churches. I want to talk to you today a little bit, a little bit about neology too. K-N-E-E-O-L-O-G-Y. Uh, neology, a series we're doing here. Just a few uh, presentations about prayer. So we're looking at Mark 135, the practice of Jesus, and notice what we have here in Mark 135. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. Well, this is quite interesting. It seems that prayer was a necessity even for Jesus. And if it was a necessity for Jesus, why, it was certainly it is a necessity for us. Notice some things in our text this morning. Uh, first of all, he rose up a great while before dawn. Our series here is At Dawn with Pastor Larry. Uh, Jesus was up sometimes a great while before dawn. And then we notice he doesn't have beeping and buzzing and lots of distracting electronic things. Jesus goes out in, in a private place. He gets some solitary time. And then, speaking of that, we have time. You actually take some time to pray. You think you're going to do a, a 20 or 30 second microwave prayer? You know, you'll get back about that much benefit from it, a microwave benefit. You want the full benefit you can have uh, by prayer this morning. So set aside some actual time with God. Now another thing we have here is from Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 50 and verses, um, verses 4 and 5. I think we can apply it to devotional. Listen to what it says here. The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as the learned. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. So we can have God be our alarm clock. God can wake us up uh, in sufficient time that we get up a little bit before we would have gotten up, and so that we have time to pray and deal with the needs we have for that day. God knows how much we need, and so he can get us up earlier. So now if you're getting up radically earlier, if you're only getting an hour or two hours of sleep in the night, you might have a sleep issue, a medical issue of some kind. Your, your practices before going to bed might be wrong, and so that might not be God waking you up. Listen, if Jesus, we read at Mark 135 about Jesus' practice, Jesus would get up early and pray. If, if prayer was a necessity for Jesus, then of, of, all, of all persons, then prayer is certainly a necessity for all humans, all regular humans, uh, garden variety humans like you and I. And Jesus, of course, in a sense, was a garden variety human too, but we'll talk about that on another occasion. He was God, but he took a garden variety humanity. So uh, we want to have the tongue of the learned, and if prayer was a necessity for Jesus, it's certainly a necessity for us. So when we get up, we're refreshed, we're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, we are uh, ready to go, our hormones have kind of reset, we have uh, just a new day before us and fresh energy from the body restoring itself during the night. So that's the time to start your day. Get your Bible, have your Bible, lay it on your bedside so that it's ready to go. A physical Bible is best. Uh, you can use your phone, certainly, but a physical Bible, I'd recommend one that's very easy, a good reading, a beautiful text. Have that ready to go, read from your Bible a little bit, and then begin your prayer time with, with God in the morning. So here we have another item in our neology. This is uh, neology number two. Uh, you need some personal, quiet time with God early in the morning. That's a wonderful way to begin your day. And the Lord will bless you and commune with you. Let's, at this time, you and I, go ahead and pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we're trying to find out uh, what the Bible says about neology, about prayer. When we get down on our knees and when we submit ourselves to you in the morning, Lord, we want to be right. We want our hearts to be right. Please communicate with us morning by morning and give us just the word, just the help, the encouragement, the insight that we need for the brand new day. And Lord, we know you did it for Jesus and we know you'll do it for us. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you today and I'm sure he will if you start your day with prayer. Get right aligned uh, with the Lord's plans for us in the morning. God be with you.